Marjorie is permitted to visit Loris in prison. He is worn out and beaten down by the faith militant's treatment of him. Marjorie tries to get him to stand up for himself and calls him the future of the Tyrells, but Loris states that he just wants his imprisonment to end and wants to acquiesce to their demands. Loris begins to sob uncontrollably, and his sister hugs him close to her chest. On the morning of his trial, a shivering Loris is shown huddled on the floor of his cell, repeating lines under his breath, suggesting he has been told what to say in advance and is trying to memorize it. He is taken from his cell by members of the faith militant before being bathed, shaven and having his hair cut off. He is then brought before the High Sparrow and the assembled nobles in the Great Sept of Baylor. Loris states that a trial won't be necessary, because he wishes to plead guilty to all accusations laid against him. He confesses to having lain with other men, including Renly, and his voice breaks with emotion as he says Renly's name, following which the High Sparrow turns and looks at Marjorie in a very pointed way. Loris emotion at saying Renly's name, and the High Sparrow looking at Marjorie in a displeased way as a result, suggests that Loris has not actually been brainwashed into believing his sexuality and his relationship with Renly were wrong, but that he has been obliged to pretend this is the case in order to persuade the High Sparrow to let him out of prison. The High Sparrow's glance at Marjorie suggests that she told him Loris had genuinely converted, but that Loris' emotion in mentioning Renly has made the High Sparrow skeptical that this is the case. However, Loris hastily regathers himself, and as he lists a number of other things the Faith considers to be crimes, the High Sparrow seems more convinced again. As part of the confession and plea to be given mercy, Loris has to agree to join the Faith Militant and renounce his inheritance. The seven-pointed star is then carved into his forehead by Brother Lancel as his sister and father look on in horror. When Cersei doesn't show up to her own trial, Marjorie realizes that something is seriously amiss. She attempts to lead her brother to safety, but the sparrows prevent this, and he dies alongside his sister and father when Cersei burns the Great Sept to the ground. 